Gamers and game ets, what is going on? My name is Tanek127. Welcome back to another Marvel's Adventures video. And before we get into today's video, guys, as usual, let me do my shameless plugins. If you're not, make sure you're following me at all the appropriate social media at Tanek127. And if you want more Marvel's Avengers videos, content, news, guides, and stuff like that, make sure you are liking today's video, subscribing to the channel, and let's go ahead and get right on into it. So as always, and like I've said in my previous Avengers videos, special thank you to Square Enix for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with a review key of Marvel's Avengers. And in today's video, I'm going to be simply just giving you guys a very light tutorial on Endgame and, you know, what you should be doing and and stuff like that. Now, um, this is, you know, your proof that um, I've been through the game's base campaign and stuff like that. This is the outfit that um, Black Widow will get for, um, for, for beating the game. There's a... There's outfits like this for for all the characters. I'm not going to show you guys that. I want to try and keep this this little guide here as spoiler free as possible. But I'm basically, you know, just going to guide you guys in the general direction. I think we're going to do a little bit more of an in depth um end game guide later. You know, go hardcore into talking about builds and things like that. But this video is more so just to point you in the right direction. And big fat disclaimer: if you haven't watched my previous video on gearing and stats. Um, I would definitely recommend you watch that before watching this because this is kind of just, you know, more of a follow-up in pushing you into the realm of what that video was about. So, you've finished the main campaign. Your question is, what do I do now? What is the point of this game? I know it's a games as a service title. I know there's more content coming in the future, but... What's here for me to do right now? What should I be doing to ready for myself for the new content coming to the game? Well, that's a good question, and I'm here to answer that for you. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, if we're in now if we're in this video, like I said, you guys should be familiar with all these resources and everything down here. So I'm not going to go over those again. Like I said, if you need to know those, make sure you visit my previous video. But basically, your goal right now is to get yourself as strong as possible. Now, you have two level caps in this game, just like a traditional MMO or RPG and, and, and games like that. Like I said, if you've, in my previous video, if any of you have played Destiny, Anthem, Warframe, or any of those games, you'll be familiar with this whole process. Now, like I said, you have a regular character level and you have a power level, which is basically the level of your gear or your current gear that you have um, equipped to your character. Now the caps for these are as follows. For your regular level, the, the cap is level 50. So your first your first goal is going to be getting your main character or all characters, you know, whatever your, your play style is. Me personally, I'm a Black Widow main. I'm focused on her right now. So I'm going to be focusing on getting Black Widow to level 50. And your goal for your for your gear is to get it to level 150. Now, how you're going to level up your gear is simple. The higher your your gear gets leveled, the stronger pieces you find, the higher level missions you're going to have access to. So, for example, what I'm doing right now, because I'm a gear level 27, the game is going to give me missions that average around, you know, this current power level. And especially when I quick match with other players. Here, I'll give you guys a little demonstration so y'all can see. We're going to come right over here to the war table. And we're going to just go ahead and take a peek at some of, at some of my missions. Now, some of them, as you can see, they're going to be, you know, um, out of out of my level range. But that's because I haven't focused too much on the other characters. Like I said, I'm a Black Widow main. This is a mission that's designed for Hulk. So it's going off of Hulk's level. That's why it's saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little low on power. But as you guys can see, a lot of my missions are averaging the 27 power that I currently have on my gear. These numbers are going to slowly go up as you keep grinding and progressing. Now, there's plenty of missions for you guys to do. As you can see, there's, you know, tons of different areas with missions in them. Um, one of these actually just got added into my game a little while ago. And I do know that the war table right here is um, updated pretty frequently. So I don't know if the missions... 
swap out on a timer. I don't know if new missions are just added. I'm not quite sure exactly how that works, but they do have a pretty cool system here to keep some variety. Um, one personal thing that I like to do that um, makes it easy for for me to grind missions is um, I personally just go to quick match and I help other players. When you hit quick match, it's going to just um, team you up with random people that are that could be working in a, on a multiplayer mission in their campaign or could, could, you know, be grinding different gear pieces or leveling and stuff like that like you are. But um, if you have a set character that you want to play as, make sure you um, hit X or square depending on if you're playing on PS4 to launch it as your selected hero or if you don't care which hero just push A or like I said if you're on PS4 push X to launch as any hero and that will send you into a mission with people average around your level just to help you you know get a boost grind and get get your gear up and stuff like that in the game now one other thing I want to talk to you guys about is if you're at this point in the game this is the point where you want to start taking things more seriously so if there's a certain character you like, I would start trying to learn that character more. You know, start getting used to that character, playing with that character more often. For you guys, you know, who like playing with multiple characters, obviously, you know, you know what you're going, what you're going to want to do. But I'm pretty sure everybody has a favorite, even if you do like playing, playing everybody. And like I said in a previous video, you really want to start getting yourself familiar with these buffs on these gear pieces, because what you're going to be making now is what's called a build. You want something special that your character can do. So you want to come over here to your skill points and you want to start being really mindful about where you where you put them. Now, because the character level caps 50, I can imagine that you're going to have 50 total skill points. So I don't think you're going to um, run too low, but you do want to start paying attention to where you um, invest your skill points. You know, what kind of character you want to build here. Like for example, my Black Widow character, I want her more of a range style character. I want her to specialize in range damage more than um, than melee damage. So I'm going to make sure, you know, I focus on range stuff. As you guys can see, I already have the range skill tree figured out. And when I go to my special t my specialties, I'm focusing on things that, you know, more based on, on range attacks. And then when I go to mastery, I'm going to come over here and focus more in the ranged section because I'm trying to build, you know, a more long distance build rather than a close up, you know, melee fighter style build with Black Widow. But anyway, guys, if you've got any questions, tips or anything, you know, that you want to know, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if this video helped you, be sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek 127 And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care. If you just wanna